Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest in aid of the Merrick. Quest requirement is in search of the Merrick. Skill requirements are 15 mining, 25 crafting and 7 magic. You will also need to be able to kill a combat 35, 60 and 2 level 75s. To kill level 60 it must be killed with a silver sickle. Items needed is any pickaxe that you can use. 5 buckets, 11 regular planks, 44 metal nails of any kind, a hammer, a spade, at least one piece of edible food after passing through the Mortmire swamp, so I suggest between 2 and 5 pieces, 10 snails or 10 mackerels depending what the NPC asks you to bring. I've already bought the mackerels from the Grand Exchange. Since the snails don't buy from the Grand Exchange, I'm going to get them during the quest and therefore I have brought a melee weapon to kill them. You can also get the mackerels during the quest, but therefore you will need to have 16 fishing and a big fishing net. Next you will also need 4 tinder boxes, 10 bronze axes, a swamp paste, 2 steel bars, 1 piece of coal, a silver sickle, soft clay, silver bar, a sapphire, a mithril bar, cosmic rune and a water rune. For the recommended items to strengthen an NPC you can also bring a steel medium helm, steel chain body and steel plate legs. And to make the NPC heal himself you can bring 15 salmons. You can also use snails and stews but I think salmons are the cheapest ones. Next you will also need some food, armor and weapon to kill the combat 35, 50 and 2 times 75. A teleportation method to any furnace and then back to Canavis. I will be using an ectophil to use the furnace in Port Pass Madness and run all the way back. And then lastly you will also need a teleportation method to any bank and then back to Burg the Rot. I will be using a dual ring charge and then use the minigame teleports of Shades of Morton to teleport myself to Morton. You don't need to have all these items at the start of the quest, so you can just simply bang them all. What you need at the start of the quest is your pickaxe, your 5 buckets, your 44 metal nails, 6 regular planks and then your 5 pieces of uh, food but you only need to have uh, 1 after passing the Mortmire Swamp you will also need a spade and a hammer and then lastly your teleportation method to go to the bank and then back to Burg the Rot also you don't need your armor at the start of the quest, so to reduce some weight I'm going to deposit it right now and I'm also going to bring a couple of stamina potions. Alright, when you have these items go to the back of the pub of Cannabis and we are now going to the hideout of the Merrick. So here back at the pub you'll find a trapdoor behind some green vines. Go up and go to the wall, go to that red uh, line, search the wall, then go south until you see a big rock east, next to the eastern wall you'll find a small alcove, go towards that alcove, search for a stalagmite, right click on it and squeeze past, and you are now here at the survivors of Mirak. You'll need to talk to Veliev. Select the first option that you want to join their organization. Then select the second option, tell me this information and then just keep pressing the spacebar because he will give a big speech. Select the first option about the job. First option that you will do the job. Alright, now we will need to go to Burg the Rot, but if you have completed the quest Shades of Morton, do not use the Shades of Morton mini quests, 
uh, mini game teleport right now because we will need it within the next 20 minutes. Just go exit the cave entrance and follow the dungeon southeast. We're just going to run to Bergerot. Open the wooden doors, enter the swamp. Next, go south and go to the bridge. Climb up that tree and cross the bridge. Next, just go south and return to the boat. Just keep going south until you see a transportation sign. Go towards it and in the water you'll find a boat. Click on it to board and you've already arrived in Morton. Next, go directly south and go to Bergerot. You'll see that it goes uh, west. Just go west, past some funeral pyres and you'll find a bridge going south. Take the bridge south and you've arrived in Bergerot. Try to open the gate and you will be stopped. Talk to Florin. Try not to get attacked by lower shades and talk to Florin. He should be near the entrance gate. Select the fourth option. Why would I want your food? Just go through all the options. The third option. Why would I want your blood? Second option. What do you do here? First option. What is this place? Alright, okay, goodbye. Next. Next to the gate you should find an open chest. Right click on your edible food and use it on the open chest. Click to continue. And you should now see that Florin will allow you to enter. Open the gate. Next, go a little bit southeast and you should find an NPC called Razvan. It should be a little bit east of the water sign, north of the pub. Talk to Razvan. Select the fourth option. Is there any out of the way places in here? Now select OK, thanks, the fifth option. Alright, and he will say that you can use the uh, basement of the pub. So go a little bit south and open the door to enter the pub. Next, go to the northwestern corner. In the northwestern corner, you'll find a trap door. First, climb over the broken wall to get to it. Then open a the trap door, but it will be blocked. Use your pickaxe on the rubble and now you've cleared it open the trap door and climb down click to continue next go to the center of this uh, basement and you'll find a couple of uh, rubbles we want to clear every single rubble before uh, we can continue the quest so first click on it to mine Alright, when you've cleared the first rubble, use your spade on the rubble, which is, which is left over, and you'll put it in a bucket. Now do this with every single rubble until you have uh, filled up your five buckets with rubble.
Also you can get random items during mining and clearing the dust from the rubble. You don't need these items, you can simply drop them. You will need your inventory slots during this quest, so just drop them. Also, when you do not clear the dust with your spade and you climb up the ladder and go back down, the rubble will have reappeared. So be sure that you uh, clear up the dust from the rubble. So be sure that you have some inventory spaces so that you can get some random items from the rubble. But you don't need the iron uh, nails or the broken glass. What you can get from uh, digging up the dust is some plaster fragments and a note. When you have a full inventory while uh, clearing every single rubble, you can still have these two items, the note and the plaster fragment, by clearing the bucket of rubble uh, later down this quest. Now just keep clearing every single uh, 15 piles of rubble until you're done.
Alright, when you've cleared the last rubble, you'll find a shortcut scene of a plague on the northern wall. But this plague doesn't mean anything during this quest. So once you've cleared the entire uh, basement and you've filled up your five buckets, climb up the ladder. And now we're going to clear the buckets of rubble. So climb over the wall, open the door and go to the western side of the pub. In this corner of the pub you'll find a uh, rubble pile. Use your buckets of rubble on the pile to empty them. Now if you had a full inventory during this um, clearing of the rubble, you can now search the rubble pile and you'll get your plaster fragments and a dusty scroll. Read both of them, click to continue. Next, read the plaster, click to continue. Alright, now we will need to go back to Rasvan. So go back north of the pub, talk to Rasvan. Select the third option, I'd like to help fix up the town. Next, we will need to go to the general store. It is located in the far northeastern uh, building of Bergerbat. So go northeast and you will see the general store sign. Enter it and there you should find an NPC. Talk to Arl. Select the third option that you would like to fix up the town. Ok, thanks. Next, go outside. And next to the door you'll find a ladder. Climb on the ladder and you should find a broken roof. Use a plank on the broken roof and you'll fix it. Click to continue and climb down the ladder. Then go a few steps east and pretty much next to the counter you should find a damaged wall. Use your plank on the damaged wall. Do not use it on the pile of bricks because then you will get redirected all the way inside. So but search for a damaged wall, use a plank on it, and you will fix it as well. After fixing this, talk back to Earl, skip through the conversation, select the fourth option, what do I do now, and he will give you a crate. Now if you check your uh, quest log, you can see that he needs 10 bronze axes, 10 macros or snails and 3 tinder boxes. Now if you have macros and you have brought a big fishing net, just go south of the city, you'll find a lot of fishing spots. Do big net fishing until you have uh, 10 macros. If you have snails, you will need to go west of Morton at this snaky path, kill some snails until you have 10. Or if you have been able to buy the snails or the macros from the Grand Exchange, just teleport to any bank. I will be using a dual ring to Castle Wars. Go to the bank, deposit your boxes, you don't need them anymore. Also you don't need your pickaxe anymore. First pick your uh, 10 bronze axes and 3 tinder boxes. Next use your tinder box on the crate. Fill the crate. Next, use your bronze axe on the crate. Yes, fill it up. Next, use your 10 snails or macros on the crate as well. And fill it up. For the next part of this quest, you will need 20 nails of any kind, 5 more regular planks, and a swamp paste. These are all the items you need. Now you just need to return to Burgerat. So if you have completed the quest Shades of Morton, just use your Shades of Morton minigame teleport and return to Burgerat. But be sure that you also have your hammer with you. Hammer, nails, five planks, and a swamp paste, and your filled crate. Once you have all these items, return to Burg the Rat. 
Open the gate and return east and go to the general store. Talk to Earl and give him the crate. Alright, then just say the fifth option, okay thanks. And now he will say to fix up the bank. So head southwest and go to the bank sign. It is located the southern building of uh, Bergerot in the center. So just go south southwest and you, until you see a bank sign. Here in the bank you will find one NPC and that the bank booth is broken. Use your plank on the bank booth to repair it. Next, go outside and go to the western wall of the bank. Behind the bank booth you should find a hole in the wall. Once again, use your plank on a damaged wall to repair it. Next, talk to the NPC inside of the bank. Then select the fourth option, what should I do now? Then select the third option, do you fancy a job? Skip through the dialogue and you'll see that Cornelius is now the banker. Now use the bank immediately. And now it's time to prepare the fight to kill a combat 35 and level 50. But to fight the level 50 you will need to kill it with a silver sickle. So be sure to bring it along. It doesn't matter which weapon you're going to kill the level 35 with. Now you also need to bring some food. And also you will need to bring two steel bars one piece of coal and a thinner box along. When you have all the required items, go north and go to Rasvan, located north of the pub. Talk to Rasvan. Then select the fourth option, what should I do now? Ok, thanks. And when you check your quest log, you should see that they want me to fix the furnace. So go southeast. The furnace is located in the most southeastern building. So just keep going southeast. East of the bank, you should find the furnace sign. Go towards it, then use two steel bars on the broken furnace to repair it. Be sure that you also have a hammer in your inventory. Next, use one piece of coal on the repaired furnace and then light it. After you've lit the furnace, you should see a cutscene. There we go. Alright, now it's time to kill the level 35 and 50. Be sure that you have your silver sickle in your inventory and go north northwest to the general store. Inside the general store there are now three more uh, NPCs. You should talk to Gadranks and just skip through the conversation. After talking to Ganderanks, talk to Whisket, the guy in with the brown shirt. Next, you should find yourself in an instance. In this instance, attack the vampire juvenate with a silver sickle.
Alright, to me now the Vampire Rejuvenate turns to dust. Simply kill uh, Gatherings, level 35. You can use any weapon you want. And Valiath will come and help you. After killing Gatherings, Equip your Silver Sickle and kill the second Vampire. Also do not kill Ganderangs with poison, because apparently if you kill him with poison it will mess up the storyline and you will have to redo this entire fight. After the second vampire has uh, turned into dust, uh, Ganderangs will say that the weakness of the vampires are getting a rest potion after you talk to him. So skip through this dialogue and he will tell you how to make Gothic's balance potions and the instance is now uh, complete. Talk to Valiath next to you after you have uh, obtained the Gander Hammer. Talk to Valiath. And he's now back in the original hideout of the Mirak. Now let's go back to the bank, so go southwest. This uh, gather hammer is very effective against shades and is pretty much useless against anything else. So just bank it. You don't need it for the quest. I don't think you should need your plaster fragment and your dusty scroll, but you do and your tinderbox. Now it's time to prepare the fight to kill two level 75s, and you will also need to protect a weak NPC. What is suggested is to bring along the steel medium helm, the steel plate legs and the steel uh, chain body to give the NPC more defense. Then also 15 salmons uh, if you want to give the NPC some food which he can use. The only armor he wants to wear is, are these steel items and the only food he wants to eat is salmon, stew and snails. But uh, salmons are just the cheapest and the easiest to buy. Next, we'll also need some food, armor, and a weapon to protect yourself against the level 75s. But you can't kill the uh, level 75s with a regular weapon. You will need to do it with a uh, blessed silver sickle or else with a blessed mithril axe, which you've got from the animal magnetism quest. When you think you're prepared to uh, kill, the two level 75s and protect the uh, weak NPC. Maybe bring one prayer potion dose. If you're not 100% run energy, drink one stamina potion dose, bank it, and then also take 10 GP for the boat ride, then run north northwest and exit Burke the Rot. We're now going to the previous hideout of the Mirik. So just exit Brotherwatt via the gate, go back to the boat, near the bridge uh, east of Morton, to go to Barrows. Here at the transportation sign just simply click on the swamp boat, select the first option, yes pay 10 GP. Just like in the search of the Merrick quest, you're going upstream, I think. You go north, then go north and go back to the bridge. Climb this uh, tree bridge. Then north of the NPC Curl Pile Fiat, go north, you should find a little bit brown on your minimap. Turn your camera south and you should find some wooden doors. Open the wooden doors, then go northwest following the cave a little bit. 
and then just go to the quest start in this alcove look for the stalagmite and squeak past next talk to Veliev select the first option why should those two NPCs go down the inn then select the second option just go through every option select the third option why should I take Ivan to the temple fourth option what should we do now and then okay thanks next talk to Paul Maffey the guy with the green shirt and trousers and now they will take off next you should find Ivan the guy with the red hood use your steel chain body on him then the steel plate legs the steel medium helm and then the salmon and then just select yes give him everything next talk to him I should now take him to temple of Patrodomus you can take route 1 or route 2 you will automatically will get attacked by level 75 vampires if you choose route 1 and if you choose route 2 you will get attacked by level 50 uh, vampires and if you are a very low combat I suggest you to take route 2 because the level 75s have a very high defense and with low stats Ivan will surely die if you are high combat uh, just choose route 1 lure Ivan behind some bushes so that uh, he won't get attacked or just attack every single vampire all at once Try to save Ivan as uh, badly as possible. Alright, when, you when you've uh, arrived here in the Temple of Patrodomus, you'll see Ivan going uh, across the bridge west and climbing down the trapdoor. Do the same. Run a bit north and go to Drizzle. Talk to him. Skip through the conversation. 
and now you need to go through every single option. Select the first option, then select the first option again, then select the second option, what proof do you have, third option, about the history, and the fourth option, fourth option again, loss to ignorance, it's like the third option, what lives are pitiful left in Martena could rest on this. And he will give you the temple library key. Next, in the northeastern corner, next to the two shelves, you use your key on that wall and you should find a keyhole in it. Use it on it and you will find a trapdoor ne opening next to you. Climb down the trapdoor. Now you need to search for a bookcase which has a search option and there you'll find some books which you can uh, read right here almost west of the library. Search that bookcase and you'll find an ancient book. Read it, close it and apparently this is the only bookcase you can search. Then just climb up the ladder. Now you need to go to the cannabis bank, so go south and go to the cannabis bank. Here at the bank you can deposit your inventory and armor because you don't need to fight anything during this quest. What you will need is a hammer, a sapphire, one water and cosmic rune, then also a rope. Then also one soft clay, the silver bar and the mithril bar. And that are the items you will definitely need. Next what I'm also going to bring along is one stamina potion. And then some weight reducing armor. And also my ectophil to go to a furnace. What you also need is a uh, teleportation method to any furnace and then back here to Canafis. I'm going to be using an act of fail. When you have all these items, go south and go behind the pub. Open the trap door behind the pub and just go south and search that wall again. After you've searched the wall, go immediately east and you should find and behind some wooden boards forming an X you should find a cave entrance. Use your hammer on the wooden boards. Next, enter the cave entrance. After you've clicked to continue, then follow the cave to the end. Maybe drink a stamina potion dose and just go to the end of um, this dungeon and you should find a tomb. Use your soft clay on the tomb and you will get a rod clay mold. Now you need to go to any furnace with in your inventory the mold, silver, mithril bar and a sapphire. I'm going to go to uh, Port Pass Mattis. Now just go to uh, any furnace, use one of the bars on the furnace and make the rod of Evendis. Make a Sif Thrill Rot. Now, once you have this rot, go to your magic spellbook. Your hopefully it's the regular one, and use level one magic on the Silfrid Rot. Now that you've uh, enchanted it with level one magic, go to uh, the Padrodomus Temple, 
located west of Canafis and east of Iraq. So I will see you back all the way in uh, Paterdomus, next to Dreesel. Be sure that you have a rope and a sieve thrill rod in your inventory when you are uh, at Dreesel's. Alright, when you've returned to Drizzle, just go west and open the gate. Just go to the center of this uh, square room and you should find a well. Use your rod on the well while you have a uh, rope in your inventory and you will dip it in uh, River Solf to give it a divine enchantment. And now you have Rod of Evandis. Now you simply need to give this to uh, Veliaf located in the pub of Burgerot to complete our quest. So either use uh, go to your mini games and try to teleport to uh, Shades of Morton, or if you have not completed the quest, or you have already used this teleport within 20 minutes, uh, go behind the pub and just go through the shortcut and. To go to uh, Morton and then just run to Broderot that way. But because this quest takes so long, it is uh, most likely that you're uh, able to use this mini game teleport again. Just go through the gate, go to the pub of Broderot. Climb over the broken wall. Then climb down the trapdoor. You should find a couple of NPCs. Right click user rod on Veliev, the guy in steel. And congratulations, you've completed in 8 of the Mirak. You're awarded with 2 quest points and 2000 attack, defense, strength, and crafting experience. Now what you are also awarded is able to equip the gather hammer, which is effective on shades. You are also able to make the rod of Evandis and uh, Gothic's balance potions. And then also you are now able to play the temple tracking minigame. This was my guide how to do in aid of the Mirak quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.